What's up everyone, Ben here with another piping hot take that's sure to get people riled up. Today we're diving into the latest royal drama surrounding Prince William, Kate Middleton and the devious machinations of Meghan Markle. Buckle up because it's going to be a doozy. It all started when a seemingly innocent family photo of Kate and her kids was released for Mother's Day. How sweet, right? Well, wrong. This was anything but an innocent family portrait. Within hours, major photo agencies were pulling the picture left and right over fears. It had been doctored and manipulated. Photoshop abuses, potential AI trickery. This thing had more red flags than a communist rally. And who was the sinister puppet master behind this? You guessed it, the one and only Meghan. This woman is so desperate to stick it to the royals that she'll stoop to any low. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on to any further details... I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to press the all important bell icon, guys. Let's get started. So speaking of morbid fascination, wait until you hear Prince William's take on the whole mess. Dude is absolutely incandescent with fury right now. Apparently, he fired the editor who manipulated Kate's photo and he's basically out for blood against Meghan. At an Earthshot Prize event today, the Prince of Wales laid it all out there in shocking terms. He admitted that he had hoped to reconcile with Harriet Kate's urging, believing the monarchy needed more hands. But after Meghan's latest treachery, Wills proclaimed the future of the monarchy is far better leaving these manipulative backstabbers and grifters away. Those are seriously fighting words. William didn't mince Matt either, declaring, I won't have mercy on backstabbers at all, and vowing to no longer tolerate anything from the duplicious duo. You could practically see the smoke coming from his ears as he rallied against being in the critical decade for environmental issues while being undermined at every turn. Look, I get that the royals like to project a polished stoic image most of the time, but there's something weirdly invigorating about one of them just going full scorched earth mode and airing out every grievance under the sun. Of course, not everyone feels that way. Kate, ever the peacemaker, tried to smooth things over by falling on her sword and taking the blame for the photo fiasco. She issued an apology, admitting she experiments with editing as an amateur photographer and hoping her Mother's Day post didn't cause confusion. Oh, how noble of her. Clearly, Kate was just trying to make amends and avoid dragging out another brutal PR war with the Sussexes. The poor woman has been out of the limelight, recovering from abdominal surgery since January. So she probably figured it was the path of least resistance. But you know what? I'm siding with Prince William's white hot rage on this one. There's just no reasoning or reconciling with a malicious hustler like Meghan. She has shown her true colours as an utterly self-absorbed, backstabbing manipulator. So let this be a line in the sand. Let the Duchess of Difficulty seed in irrelevancy. The British monarchy doesn't need her infecting the royal ranks. They're better off cutting out her envious growth before it can metastasize any further. William said he has to focus on supporting and developing solutions to enact real change. How can he possibly do that with Meghan lurking around every corner, ready to unleash the next devious plot? Now, this entire debacle proves once and for all that the only way to deal with Markle Menace is to completely exercise her from the royal orbit, send her and her hostage husband packing to Montecito. So what will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell. And I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before closing, you know the drill, like and subscribe. Bye for now.